I'm Erin Jacobson, known as the Music Industry Lawyer, and today I'm going to tell you how Spotify has waged a war with the music industry. Spotify has waged a war with the music industry. The streaming company has a history of not paying mechanical royalties to songwriters and music publishers, and they've already been sued several times for this violation. Rather than explaining all the details of the lawsuits here, you can click the link below to read my recent article on this topic for Forbes.com. What I want to talk about today is that Spotify has recently made an argument that essentially Spotify is claiming that it doesn't have to pay mechanical royalties. And I want to tell you why this is just plain wrong. So streaming on Spotify requires several licenses. One is a license from the record company for the use of the sound recordings. The second is a license from the performance rights organizations like ASCAP and BMI for the performance of the compositions. And the third is the mechanical license for the reproduction of the compositions in the stream. So Spotify's first argument on this topic is that Spotify considers itself to be akin to a service like Pandora who only has to pay performance royalties. Now, here's where this argument is flawed. Pandora is what is considered a non-interactive service under copyright law. Because when you listen to Pandora, even though you can choose a particular type of station, the songs are chosen for you, just like on regular terrestrial radio. In contrast, Spotify is considered an interactive service because on Spotify you can choose the individual songs that you listen to at any time. Copyright law makes an important distinction between non-interactive and interactive services because the non-interactive services, again because they're non-interactive, only need to pay the performance royalty, whereas interactive services like Spotify need to pay the performance royalty as well as the mechanical royalty for the reproduction of the data during the interactive stream. And it has been shown that Spotify's technology actually does create reproductions of the data files under certain circumstances. So therefore Spotify, as an interactive service, cannot rely on the argument that it should have to pay royalties under the structure of a non-interactive service. Secondly, Spotify in previous instances has actually stated that it needs mechanical rights and it has argued in rate court proceedings on what price it should have to pay for those mechanical royalties. So Spotify can't on the one hand say that it needs mechanical rights and argue about what rate it has to pay and then turn around and say it doesn't have to pay mechanical royalties at all. Thirdly, Spotify has previously settled lawsuits and potential lawsuits for failure to pay mechanical royalties, and their excuse in those cases was that it was too difficult to find everyone that they had to pay. So once again, Spotify has admitted that it needed to pay mechanical royalties, but is now turning around and saying that it doesn't have to. And last but not least, the music industry has long ago come to a consensus that a mechanical royalty is payable on an interactive stream. So at the time of this video, Spotify has just been valued at 16 billion, billion with a B, dollars. It is absolutely unacceptable that Spotify has built its entire business on using music content, but yet continues to try to not pay for that content properly. Without music, there is no Spotify. And Spotify needs to stop making excuses and start valuing the content that built its business. I'm Erin Jacobson, known as the Music Industry Lawyer. You can visit my website at themusicindustrylawyer.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another music industry topic.